Welcome to Kerbal Space Program 0.90 Beta. Um, I've been appointed uh, the Flight Director of the Kerbal Space Program and uh, hopefully with your help we will get uh, Jebediah and his friends to the moon and other places. I'm going to play it in career mode, going to play it in normal difficulty and we'll choose a random flag I quite like the capsule, there we go start yes we'll overwrite that one uh, this is just right click over the space centers to view more about them, left click when you're ready to head inside. If you need more information, check out the uh, training section on the main menu. Training section. Here you can render all the aspects of the space program. Hold the right spell button to move the camera. We we'll use the arrow case. Thank you. So, VAB facility 30 part maximum. Cost more than we got to upgrade. Right. Enter. No, I probably don't want to enter yet. I probably need to accept some contracts first. Okay. Uh, it's only building a pretty impressive Yes, control your component structure and space card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's uh, let's go accept a couple of contracts. I should think. So this is the um, uh, beta. So this is uh, complete in terms of the game. All the content is there. So we're going to take some contracts. First contract we're going to do is launch a vessel. Um, I get four and a half thousand when I complete it, plus some reputation and some bonus science. If I never manage to launch a vessel, I will lose two thousand credits or curve it, curve balls, whatever they're called. Um, I get one thousand eight hundred as a start. We'll take that. Uh -huh. Easy. Set an altitude. Record, got to get to 5,000 meters, give me 500, 2,300 ish plus some reputation. Take that. Escape the atmosphere. I can only take two contracts at the moment because of the current level that we got. So we'll stick with that. Um, so, a quick look at our astronauts. Everyone has got no skill at the moment. Um got three at the moment, uh, Jeb, Bill and Bob. Jeb is the pilot, Bill is an engineer, and Bob is scientist. So the scientists can boost value from experiments, so part science return and vessel science return 100% extra. Is this 100? Return is 100%? No, that's not extra, is it? That's 100%. Engineers are capable of repairing broken parts. Well, hopefully nothing will break. Uh, pilots provide assistance in flying the vessel. He get, at the moment gets stability assist. So, we don't need to hire anyone else as yet. Um, this is the screen where if I want to increase the amount of science or amount of finance or and you can trade reputation for um, reputation for uh, extra credits and things like that depending on what you need at the moment I think we'll just keep going as standard see our launch facility, the runway and this is the research centre, got no research so haven't got enough there, so we'll ignore that so we just got to launch a vessel and get to 5000 metres so we'll start with the vessel I uh, will go with some fuel. Well, solid rocket booster, nice and simple. Absolutely nothing needed. Crew, I'm going to be a little bit. I'm going to take the scientist, I think. Launch a new vessel set and out. I think this should be an easy flight which will get us um, 
quite simply where we need to go it's going to cost us 1300 we're going to earn more than that in our contract let's call the spacecraft flight one and let's launch it now as Bob is not a pilot he is a scientist can't put the SAS mode can't you read that has no operation SS module and no pilots aboard cannot engage it but that's fine but you're not going to need it just going to leave that and make sure that we're seeing for nearly forgot to stage it that would have been a mess um, and let's go Three, two, one, launch. Just got to make 5,000 meters. Already looked the vessel, so we've achieved that. That's got us an extra 4,500 life sites and 11 reputation. About halfway through our fuel, and we're over halfway to our goal. So, just going to. Made a bit of a mess there. There we go. Certainly get down. There we are. Just wanted to get a bit of movement away from the uh, actual space center. We will do a quick crew report to get a bit of data. Can't get outside. Can't do an EVA. Or well, certainly couldn't do from this altitude anyway. It'd be considerably higher up if we needed that. Any second now we're going to start falling again. We've achieved our altitude quite easily. Launch a vessel. I thought I deleted that one. We didn't. Uh, we got completed the 5,000 meters, which took us to 2,294. And we're slowly heading back down again now. Let's speed up time just a little bit. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Off goes the parachute. As soon as that grips, that will bring us around. We're going to come down with a nice gentle splashdown, which I'm not sure, hopefully, will mean we can recover the solid rocket booster, just save a little bit of money. Here it comes. 3,000 metres, 2,000 metres, 2,500 metres. 2,000 meters, one and a half thousand meters, thousand meters, eight, seven, six, five, parachute. Here it goes. Yeah, we'll just speed it up. Yep. Just a bit, 300. 200 150 100 and here we go for splash down brilliant managed to keep hold of that Board. Well, what happened? I didn't know you could get out. Okay. Ah, oh, because we we're on curving, so we can get out. Yep. So I took a surface sample and let's recover the vessel. That's great. That's really good. And there you go. There's our first flight. Um. Three and a half science. Um, 
three point do science for the EVA and five for recovery of the vessel that survived flight. Parts I keep putting the mono propellant in. We got the solid rocket for sixty four funds back. So that's good. Uh, 1062 from recovered parts. Oh, crew gained 1 XP. Good. Just check the crew. So there we are. Bob is on his way. Done one flight from Kerbin. So that's good news for Bob. Contracts achieved. We've done those two. Our money and our reputation is heading up. Perform a visual survey of Kerbin. Uh, take a crew report in flight below 17,100 meters near the area TK9. Don't know what that is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. U7, uh, 7UH. Again, I don't know where they are. They're, they're fairly good money, so keep those right. Now these are difficult because you've got to test the parachute at these heights, which makes it really difficult. And those speeds, so I don't like those ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, solid rocket booster flight at an altitude. I I, I use the solid rocket boosters from the ground. So, probably not that one. Stack decoupler. I'm not sure how you can land it because you kick it off when you get rid of it. So that's no good. We're going to set an altitude record though. We get 11,000 for that, so that's really, really good. I'm going to do 22... where was... 22,000. So we'll set that one. Ah, oh, we've got to do one more because we've got to do... One more of these um, active contracts, really. You want to do two at once, especially in the early days, to earn a bit of money and reputation. I don't know how you find out where these areas are. Because they could be the other side of the planet, as far as I know. If anyone knows how you find out where those areas are, well, let me know because you not get the full information. Uh, I'm able to tell the date on Kerbin was truly six hours long. Now that the result apparently only set for chain events is no, nothing tells me whereabouts it is. Mm -hmm. Solid rocket booster would be easier to do. Would it? Rather than the parachute? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That one I'm not just not sure about whether you get to uh that's so difficult. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll take the parachute. Because I've just got to let it off at that altitude on the way back down again. So let's take that. Alright. Science. Gotta start the research there. We've got 11.7. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. So all we got is that one. But we have got the stack. The couple. Does that give us any more context because we got it? No. Ooh. Right, so we're going to build a ship that is going to allow us to do the parachute and reach 22,000 meters. And we'll do that in episode 2. So join me then.